Hi, welcome to Only in Illinois from Reboot Illinois. I'm Madeline Dubeck here with Matt Dietrich and this week we want to talk about a fascinating idea that the House Republicans proposed which is to end the so-called lame duck legislative sessions which occur after an election uh, but before legislators, new legislators are sworn in in January. In 2011 in the 11th hour, under the veil of night, Democrats in the majority passed the largest income tax increase on individuals and employers in the state's history. They abolished the death penalty. They brought smoke-free Illinois to Illinois. The Republicans have dirt on their hands as well. Back in 1997, we were involved in it, and we were participated in lame duck session abuse. It doesn't make it right. Uh, for example, in 2011, the tax increase passed at 1.30 a.m. The inauguration, I believe, is about at 10 a.m. was right. about yeah. you know, nine hours or so later. Mm -hmm. So the uh, but w what really um, is driving this movement to end the lame duck sessions is the way that these votes are harvested. And right. what happens and what happened in 2011 is you get people uh, who you need their votes, and in order to get their votes, uh, things are offered deals are made and usually this can mean Jobs. employment um, and you someone know, just lost an election now they need a job and so whoever needs something done finds a job for them in state government somewhere. correct and a lot of times this gets into a very very murky area you can't prove anything right. it becomes you know back and forth back and forth and I think a case in point here is and I'm not accusing this person at all but uh, Bob Flyer Mm -hmm. was a state representative, a Democrat from the Decatur area. He campaigned in 2010 uh, on a platform of opposing the tax increase that Pat Quinn was really, really pushing. He lost the election in 2010, then came back in uh, January 2011, voted for the tax increase just, you know, 10 hours before he was out of office. He went to the Illinois, I think, Broadband Association for about 10 months after that. Then he comes back and becomes Governor Quinn's Secretary of Agriculture. Now, can't prove anything. Right. He has said that it was not a quid pro quo, right. but boy, it doesn't look very good, does it? It sure doesn't. And this sort of thing happens just about every lame duck, duck session. Lots of us in media have complained about lame duck legislative sessions for a long time, but it's going to take a three-fifths majority vote in both the House and Senate to get this on the ballot. Right, and it is never in the minority party's uh, interest when you go into a lame duck session. The lame duck session is perfect for the majority party and to his credit, Jim Durkin, the House Republican leader, said in his press conference that he was guilty of lame duck abuse himself during that brief window of opportunity in the 90s when the Republicans held both houses. Yeah. So it would really take a huge public outcry to put enough pressure on these guys to do something like this, but it's definitely a fascinating topic. So uh, we're happy to talk about it with you. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you on the next edition of Only in Illinois.